Well, as they say these days, if it don't have the bling, it don't mean a thing. Is that how it goes? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, but it's not bling where you may expect it. That's right. Here to make sure you keep your entire look polished, because bling, sh bling shouldn't just be on the ring finger. Right. Our beauty editor, Julie Wilson of the Huffington Post, and one of the most sought-after nail artists in New York City, May Kawajiri. Welcome, ladies. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Now, while, while May gets us started on exactly what the look should look like, Julie, we're watching the runways, okay? And it's not just about clothes anymore. I thought I just had it, you know? <laughs> it's not just about clothes anymore. What's the deal with the nail craze? Get it, me straight. It's another accessory. Mm -hmm. You know, it's another thing that we can, you know, accessorize and make our own. So we're designers are putting different patterns or doing different geometric things on your nails and people are gravitating towards it. And also it's very inexpensive mm. accessory, you know? Instead of buying a $2,000 bag, you can get your nails done. So what are the, some of the trends with the nails? Is it like, are they still using those Lee Press-On things? Uh, or? Help, <laughs> help, 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 help We mentioned bling, no, we're so. We're not doing Lee <laughs> Press-On, but there are, there's, there's jewels that you can put on it. Oh. There's different patterns. There's um, actually accessories that you can clip onto the nails that dangle. I mean, the sky's the limit, mm. really. I mean, it's whatever your imagination comes up with, which is why May is so amazing at what she does. I mean, and it's a huge industry now, like manicurists, books, museums, mm. exhibits. Oxygen is even working on a reality show wow. following their nail artists. Now, when I'm in the nail salon, I, you know, is there that much going on? What's when did nails become such a big deal? How's this evolved? I honestly think it's because of social media. I mean, you see the shows and that sort of thing, but people are sharing ideas and people are sharing not only their outfits, but their nail, what's on their nails, their, you know, their <laughs> lipstick. So people are getting inspired by others across the country and wanting to mimic what they have on their nails. So, you know, that just kind of made the industry bloom. All right, so May, you gotta tell me this. You've only been here in the U.S. for about three weeks and you already have a waiting list just to get your, into your salon and get your nails done. Yes. Uh, now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, how many how many years do you have to wait? You've been in actually three years in the U.S. now, right? Three years. You've been here for one three year. years. One year. No, one year. One, one year, year now. Yes. Okay. But she's got a three week waiting list because oh, she's wow. tough. Yeah. So what is it about <laughs> your nails that make your nails stand out from the rest? Um, you know, before like a tattoo is very very popular, mm -hmm. but you know, t tattoo is forever. Mm. But nail art, it's like uh, um, two weeks, and wow. then everybody can change every two weeks. So it's more easy to show myself, like a customer can show by myself. Mm. So right. that's well, the, why. The New York Post even has pitched you down to a dollar limit and says oh. that you, no. uh, <laughs> so you got to pay a lot of money to get your nails done. About six figures that you make a year doing nails, is that a, true? Is that um, popular? The Post said $300,000 uh -huh. annually and that you make from doing nails. Now, is, uh -huh. that, is that the norm? How, when do we, <laughs> I need to get my license or something. <laughs> no, um, um, yeah, I hope so. I don't, right, I hope yeah. so. Maybe this year, right? <laughs> Maybe this year. The, yeah. ask, so, so the popularity of it, because in order for somebody to be making $300,000 mm. a year doing nails, mm -hmm. there must be, I mean, this is much different than I feel like when we were younger or when we were yeah. growing up. Is, now, is this just an L.A., New York trend? Mm -hmm. Or are you seeing this everywhere? Has the mm. nail craze going everywhere? Uh, yeah, I think so. You know, I born in Japan. And then uh, in Japan, already so much trend. And then four years ago, I came to New York, and then uh, nothing like that. And I think uh, it's gonna be more popular in New York mm. because everybody so love art. So I think um, in the world, so many people um, interesting in their art. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is art. I mean, you've put everything yes. from Picasso to Jay Z lyrics on people's uh -huh. nails, and it's so small. Where yeah. do you draw your inspiration from? Um, Inspiration from like, architecture, mm. food, and then fashion, like a uh, clothing print, mm -hmm. and then like a uh, um, face, people's face. So anything. Anything. Now, how long incredible. does it take you to create one of your designs? Um, it depends. Like uh, one hour to two hour. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And what are you doing today? What are you doing to Miss Clothes Nails, one of our graphic like, designers? <laughs> <laughs> this is a Halloween. Halloween. Oh, okay. Right you on. know, this is like a heart, mm -hmm. but this is a bone, but looks like a 
I love Halloween. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I see. Fresh messages yeah. and yeah. such. Turn it a little bit to the <laughs> camera so we can see. There we go, right there. Now, what's wow. the craziest thing that a client's ever asked you for? I think my, my nail. They want it yours? Yeah. Like, uh, my nail is sometimes like a weird shape sculpture. Mm. And then diamond, just the two finger. And then the other one is like a detail art. Mm. It's too crazy. Okay. Yeah. And then. What's your absolute favorite design? My favorite design is geometric design. Okay. It's very straight and then perfect line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how much would it cost for someone to come in and get their saucer fierce on? Yes, I need to know. <laughs> <that>. uh, <laughs> um, from hundred to um, more detailed one, it's like a hundred. 30, 50, something like that. Okay, yeah. and what no. about for her, with, like this design she's getting? Mm. I think this is 120. Okay. Yeah. And how long would this last on her figure? Two weeks <laughs> to three weeks. Okay, yeah. got it. All right. You can tell somebody's got a woman. I know, I'm gonna get my, right. my latest nails no, uh, done. <laughs> I, I have to know, you know, uh -huh. um, not that I'm cheap per se, but <laughs> what is the difference between a $20 manicure mm -hmm. and a $120 manicure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's worth it. I just want to know. <laughs> it's like, it's more original. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, everybody own different things. So, you know, nobody mm -hmm. have same thing. Right. It's very special. Right. That's mm -hmm. why. Right. Originality. Yeah. Original. Art, art on your hands. Yes. It is. Now, Julie, what about some of this artwork that is spreading around the country? Do you think, is this going to stick around for a long time or is this going to be just a come and go trend? Yeah, I definitely think so. I think it's, it's really nice, too, because you're able to express yourself, your different interests. Mm. You know, you can get a, 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 sh a TV show character on your, your finger, or, <laughs> you know, a lot of people are putting political messages on their fingers, you know, and like you said, the, the, the lyrics. So mm -hmm. I really feel like it's a way of people expressing themselves, and I've seen it, you know, in middle, middle America as well, not only New York and L.A. Okay. Because of social media, everyone's doing it. You can do it at home by yourself. You can get kits now. Right. A lot of of companies are actually doing, I mean, I'm not so good at doing my own nails, so a lot of companies are actually doing the stickers, okay. where it looks like you have nail art, but you just stick them on, and so you don't have to go through the actual process, or if you don't have the money to go and get, you know, a professional, mm -hmm. like May, to do it, you can, mm -hmm. you know, do it at home. Well, you know, that's good, because I'm going to go home and try to be, a, you know, a little oh, fake, May. Uh -oh, fake May. Fake May. I'm, I'm going to be fake May tonight. <laughs> do you have any tips for the people at home, you know, if they want to add a little something to their nails, uh -huh. a little do-it-yourself trick? I think uh, um, people shouldn't do like a uh, house oh, clean. Right. <laughs> Wash dish. Oh, you know? house cleaning. Oh, yeah. Don't, oh. do, don't that. do anything. Oh. It's still. I agree. Oh, that's, 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 a, that's a good yeah. tip. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting to hear my whole life. <laughs> get your nails done. And my nails. It's not laziness. Yes. Yeah. Get your nails done and don't have to do any housework. So that helps them last longer by not getting any chemicals or you know doing any harsh mm -hmm. work. That helps them last longer, right? Yes. Okay. So what about people that want to do their own nails? Do you have any at-home tips on you know the type of acrylic or mm -hmm. nail polish they should use? What are some tips? I think in in the home, mm -hmm. I think people use um, nail sticker. Mm -hmm. okay. It's more um, now trend. And then also, I'm gonna have my own sticker soon. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. Really? You're gonna do your own sticker? Oh, yeah. Great. What's it gonna look like? Are you allowed to tell us? Huh? What's it gonna look like? Look like? Yeah, it's what's the sticker secret. gonna look like? Oh, secret. That's a secret. Yes, right. right. <laughs> Thought you were gonna break it here. <laughs> well, I have another secret I'd like to know. Tell me some of the, the famous ladies that have come through your shop and demanded you. May. Hmm? Give me some of those famous <laughs> <She's focused>. ladies. <laughs> yeah, she is focused. Any, any famous names that have come through your shop? Uh, famous, yeah. like um, I don't want to say about uh, name, but like uh -huh. uh, fashion people, DJ okay. and the model, singer. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a lot of people. I'm come. gonna find out later. <laughs> <laughs> I have no business knowing. <laughs> well, can we see clothes design? Is yes. it ready yet? Can mm -hmm. we see what you've done yeah. over there for clothes? Drum roll. Oh. Look, this is like a spike. Oh, okay, like a little oh, yeah. spike. Oh. Rockstar. Rockstar. I'm ready. Are you ready for the runway, Chloe? 
I love it. Thank you. All right. So we are that much closer to fabulous everyone. Well, yes. not you, but you pass it on to me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank I you feel so prepared. Much. Yes, ready? you're ready. Yes. Thank All you right. guys. You're watching the Rise Entertainment 360. Ow, let's clean it.